uh, in the strange world of internet stuff is that a guy named Emmett Newsom, uh, Newsom, excuse me, from Dead Rise Woodcraft reached out a couple of months ago when I started this whole production run uh, launch and said, hey, can I make art out of your instruments if you got like leftover parts and pieces? And I was like, I don't have any idea what you mean, man, but I got some pieces that I can send you because of um, prototyping and stuff. So I sent them off not knowing exactly what he had in mind and he sent me back some pictures which were way cool. I mean, they're way cool. And he captured the essence of the idea that I was going for when it's uh, the river idea, the river guitar. Uh, but it's in a box I haven't opened yet. I just have pictures of it from him. And I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie because the um, the box doesn't look like it made it in such great shape. So Emmett, I really hope your work is not UPS-defied. So here's what I mean. This box, uh, you know, and it was very careful to make sure that it said fragile. And I like that he said glass, because I don't think there's glass in it, but either way, that's what I would have said. And um, it doesn't seem like, you know, that they were super gentle with this thing, so I'm a little nervous, but uh, thankfully the box, the instruments aren't nearly the size of the box. The box has extra space in it. Uh, this is actually the same box I sent it to him in, so let me get some scissors and I'll open this guy up. Okay, this is the most precariously placed I've ever put my phone. <laughs> but I don't have a camera assistant. Let's see if we can actually get into this thing and not mess it up. And it, I apologize in advance if anything is a... Uh, well, you know what? I can't. It's probably up to UPS or whoever said this. I keep saying UPS. I don't actually know who sent it. I don't want to blame them. If they're not the ones. Alright. So Emmett took the full pieces of one of the prototypes you've seen pictures of. Um, and he did his artwork style on it where he cut a river into it, kind of like with uh, an epoxy. Uh, uh, he's also got this other style that he does where he makes little trees and birds and stuff. And so um, there's something else in here. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to check this out in a second. Uh, huh. Well, there we go. This is, I knew what to expect here just because he had sent it to me in pictures to let me know along the way. Um, but look at that. So that is the Cumberland. Uh, let's see here. How would it look for you? I guess it'd be like this. Um, and there is East Nashville. East Nashville is this whole general region in which I live and which Inglewood is a sort of subcomponent of East Nashville. If you're from here, you know that, but if you're not from here, it doesn't make any sense. It's actually not even east of the city directly. Um, but you know, there you go. Do I have it upside down? <laughs> Cameras. No, I don't think I do. Um, but yeah, he's got all those, look at all those the, the detailed, you know, trees that he's done with the lathe, which I was pretty excited about because, you know, part of my uh, wood crafting journey is having spent a lot of time on lathes. Um, and then he took that purple heart fretboard, which I did not send with any frets on it. Um, so, you know, like, that's a nice little sheet. I don't know what he put on that. Um, but he maintained the logo up there, filling in, because we didn't want to put in tuners there. And he's got his, his awesome little uh, stamp back there. So, I'm pretty excited about that. And that little house down in there with the, uh, I guess it's a, it's a campfire? Yeah, a campfire. <laughs> that's like what it was before it became an it city, right? So anyway, Emmett, this is pretty awesome work, man. I'm gonna hang it up on the wall over here as soon as I can figure out how to get uh, keep it from falling since it doesn't have the tuning keys. I need a better system for hanging stuff up anyway, but uh, I'm gonna set that aside for a second because I sent him a batch of pieces um, more than, more than a, I, I thought he was gonna be building a couple of instruments like on his own or messing around. I just wanted that extra parts and it looks like you sent me dude you sent me like more than one thing here didn't you so it looks like one of the other things that he does a lot on his on his uh instagram stuff is these these um leaves are they copper copper foil 
And then those little birds, they're like that. But what Ryan doesn't know is I made a second one. So he's from Virginia originally, so I, uh, so am I. So I carved out two cardinals, a male and a female. Uh, this is actually a piece of driftwood from the Chesapeake Bay of Virginia. And then I made some fold form leaves to run up the neck. Which I just love the birds. And I'm so glad that Emmett, you sent me one because I didn't, didn't think we were going to do that. This is uh, unexpected, man. Um, and I think I'm a little concerned, though, because it looks like one of your birds is supposed to go there, probably. So I got super glue, got a lot of super glue. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, it looks like maybe it got bashed in a little bit there. So yeah, we were probably right to think that the box was not um, well handled by the, uh, by, the, by the people at the shipping company, whichever one it was. But I've got all the parts, I've got the bird, we're good to go there. Have a look at this, since we all love wood stuff here. This is the deluxe model which I don't think that I've seen shown up too many places. This is the deluxe model. I know we've had it out on a couple pictures here and there. And then I just yesterday got this one back from Nick, which is a walnut top. Now this won't be, you know, one we're going to market with, but uh, look at the way he did that head cap just to match the two. Uh, we won't be going to market with that one, but it was just a fun test to try it out. And um, I've talked too long. Thank you so much. This is Ryan, Inglewood Instruments.